was our dude hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel um so just one thing before we get rolling into today's case if you guys see me looking like off down here a lot it's because i got this new uh gps tracker for my dog and so i can see his live location because while i love him he very much has a one track mind and that is oh something smells good i'm gonna follow the smell oh no now i'm lost so anyways um yeah i'm like now tracking his location i have a virtual fence set up which is super nice so if he leaves it i get a notification letting me know um if you guys want me to do like a review on it okay wait this isn't something i would normally talk about in a video like this i guess but um if you guys would want to know more about it or like want a review of what i got uh let me know down below because it's incredibly helpful and honestly it just makes me like more at ease during the day when I'm inside like working on YouTube stuff because I get pretty like into what I'm doing and then all of a sudden it's like oh shit an hour has passed and I don't know where my dog is um half the time he's sitting in the driveway but anyways there are, have been a few times where he's gotten too far from home so uh anyways let's just jump right into today's case in May of 2000, Ralph Panitz and his current wife, Eleanor, went on the Jerry Springer show with Ralph's ex-wife, Nancy. The episode was called Secret Mistresses Confronted, and I believe you can still watch this episode today. If you can, I'm going to insert clips of it, I think, at the end of this video, so stick around for those. Ralph and Eleanor claimed that Nancy had been stalking them. Of course, Nancy denied it and then went on to say that she and Ralph had spent the night together in a hotel just the day before and Eleanor didn't know. Ralph and Eleanor tried to humiliate Nancy on the show and even tried to get the audience members to call her fat and old, which is just like not cool. It was on the show when Nancy found out that Ralph and Eleanor, sorry, I just got a notification about my dog. Uh, it was on the show when Nancy found out that Ralph and Eleanor had gotten married. After that, she just like got up and left. Before she left, she was like, that's fine, bye. Like she didn't know that they had gotten married um, but it's kind of like, you know, why was she so mad? Like, that was her ex-husband. But, you know, I mean, remember, they were still kind of fooling around on the side. So maybe she was hoping, oh, we'll get back together. However, Nancy was found dead in Sarasota, Florida on July 24th, 2000. She was killed the day that the episode was um, aired. She was found dead in the home that she was still sharing with Ralph and Eleanor. So all three were still living together. She was beaten so badly that it was impossible to identify her. The police working on the case tracked Ralph and Eleanor to Boston, which was where they surrendered. The police believed that the two of them were attempting to cross the Canadian border and just like, you know, flee the country and hopefully not get in trouble for anything. Ralph was brought back to Florida and was tried for second degree murder. During the trial, a lot of new details came to light. Like Nancy went to court to ask a judge to have Ralph and Eleanor removed from their shared home. He's frequently violent, she said during the court hearing. He had chased me with a knife and made threats about taking my life, ending my life, the way he was going to torture me. He spent a couple of hours telling me how he would kill me and my whole family, and he was trying to think of a way to do it. The judge agreed to have them removed from the home. Now, some speculation had le has led many to believe that this was kind of what might have pushed Ralph over the edge and just made him go crazy and murder her, possibly. Nancy even took out a restraining order against him towards the end of her life. It was discovered that Ralph would often go between his current and his ex-wife and would like spend the night with both of them, which is like, ugh, bro, pick one and just go with it. Ralph and Nancy had both filed numerous domestic violence allegations against each other. During the trial, Ralph's attorney, Joffrey Feger, who also represented Jack Kevorkian in 1994. And if you guys know anything about Jack Kevorkian, it's that he, so he was the, uh, whatever, Dr. Death or something like that. But, um, he was doing assisted suicides for people and then got into a lot of trouble about it. And if you guys want to hear a case about that, definitely let me know. I might actually just add it to my list and do it. <laughs> um, uh, but anyways, so I mean a very high profile lawyer to have, I guess. Uh, but anyways, Joffrey tried to argue that the prosecution made up the evidence and claimed that nothing linked his client to the murder of Nancy. However, there were 18 bloody footprints of Ralph's shoes and his DNA was found under Nancy's fingernails. 
But uh, yeah, there was no evidence to link him to the crime. At the end of the trial, Ralph was convicted of second degree murder and for violating a domestic violence order. Eleanor was convinced that the verdict would be appealed. She even stated, I will never give up trying to see my husband is a free man because in my heart, I do not believe he did this. And it's like, sister, come on. You were probably with him. Ralph was given life in prison without the possibility of parole. And then later, Jeffrey was served with a slander lawsuit after the case was over by one of the um, jurors that were on the case, the, the murder charge. So anyways, that's kind of interesting. I could honestly probably just do a whole case about this guy because yeah, he seems kind of interesting. Anyways, so yeah, that's it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. I know today was kind of a shorter one, but I just think that cases that have someone that ended up being murdered or someone that did the murdering on like national television is just crazy interesting because it's so weird then when you go back and you watch that footage and it's like oh girl you're about to get murdered or like you know like oh dude you know you're really watching him being like hmm do you seem like someone that would murder like it's weird but you just look at them differently. So anyways, that's why I had to do this one. I thought it was very interesting. If you guys have more information about this case or have anything that you want to add, any questions you have, anything, definitely leave a comment down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel. If not, totally cool. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, but for those of you that will be coming back tomorrow, uh, tomorrow I will be doing the Amanda Knox case so if that's one that you guys have heard about and want to know a little bit more about definitely tune in tomorrow that one should be up at three o'clock as well uh but yeah other than that i hope you guys have a great safe day and that's it for me bye guys